So, do you get a phone call from Quinn? Does he text you? Does he call your mom? How does it go down? Um, well, you know, I just auditioned, uh, like everybody else. Um, I got a call from my agents letting me know there was a movie available, and I got sent some sides, and I did a self-tape in my bedroom with my dad, and then I got a call back, and I went and did the call back, and then I got a call that I got the part. So I just kind of went through the process like everybody else, and um, maybe at the end I got an extra tight hug and a wink from Quentin, but... Um, but, you know, I went through it like everyone else. It was really important to Quentin and I that we did it that way. And um, I, uh, I don't know. I was so excited. It was a huge honor. Why is Hollywood so into telling stories about Hollywood? Uh, because everyone who works in Hollywood is hugely self-involved. I don't know. I mean, does, does that sound right to you? <laughs> yeah. Favorite Quentin Tarantino movie? Pulp Fiction. Why is that? I wonder. Oh, Stranger Things. Yeah. Everyone is loving Robin so much. Did you expect that fandom? Not at all. I um, I loved Robin, and I gave her everything I had, and I tried to make her as human and like multidimensional as I could, and I wanted people to love her. But I honestly, when you bring a new character onto a TV show that is already so beloved, it's very rare that it's received that well. And so I just I count my lucky stars, and I'm so grateful that people fell in love with Robin the way that I did. Did you know, when did you realize she was going to be falling for a girl and not a boy? Um, well, she doesn't fall for a girl within the show. She just doesn't fall for a boy and, and, and comes out to him. Um, and uh, I don't know, the Duffer Brothers and I and Sean Levy had a lot of conversations throughout shooting. And I, it wasn't really until episode, until we were shooting episode four and five, I think, that we made the final decision. Um, it was kind of a collaborative conversation. And I'm really, really happy with the way that it went. Have you heard from queer kids already? Um, you know, I'm not super active on social media, um, but I have seen some posts and some things, and I, I, I couldn't... My dream, in terms of what impact that would have, is that that show... You know, anyone can go on TV and find a show that's, a, that's about them. But with, when you have a really mainstream show that's in everybody's living room, it's in people's living rooms in the middle of America, in other countries, in the coasts, it's everywhere. And so... You know, and the wonderful thing about telling stories is sometimes we can have empathy for people on screen that we wouldn't normally have empathy for in life. And so if I can hope for anything is that, that maybe some people fell in love with Robin and that helped them fall in love with um, girls who love girls and boys who love boys. And so Leo and Brad, tell me about what do they like on set? Um, well, I just worked with them both very briefly. Um, I'm only in a couple minutes of the movie, um, but uh, it did take a while to shoot. And I, you know, Leo, I really got to see work. And the amazing thing about him is he is as generous on camera as he is off camera, and energy just pours out of his eyes and his fingertips and his voice and his guts. And he's uh, wh whether he's on camera or not. And it's an amazing thing for someone at that level to be that generous. It's very rare and it's really inspiring. So, What did your mom tell you before going to set? What did she say? I mean, she didn't really have to tell me anything because I've been there, I was there on the set of Kill Bill and I've been there in the mix, you know, for a, for a little while now. And um, so everything she could have told me before this, I'd already heard, so um, yeah.